Good morning, friends. Welcome back to my channel. It is Wednesday. <laughs> it's Wednesday. Happy hump day. Um, I got up actually relatively early this morning compared to my other mornings, which is a good indicator that I'm kind of getting my life back on track. I've just felt really kind of overwhelmed with everything that's happening um if you guys live in ontario then you know that we've kind of been in a bit of a lockdown for the past like since march last year it's just been a bit chaos and you know it's been really difficult for me to just kind of come to terms with it for the last couple months and just so i just got really really just down and it was hard for me to go to bed early wake up early work out, eat well, do anything. It's It's been a very, very difficult past few months, which is why you haven't really been seeing me so much on YouTube, as well as why you saw me upload like an older vlog from like months previous, just because I just was not in the headspace to, to film. And I've been having a really huge disconnect with social media lately, it just did not feel like the place for me to be. And I actually contemplated just quitting altogether. Um, but, <clears throat> you know, life is not life without its challenges. And so here I am, here I am. I am making a conscious effort to show up for myself every single day. And I also put on workout gear, so that will kind of motivate me to exercise today i also do want to go outside but the weather has also been so 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 bad like we have barely gotten any like good sunny weather in maybe a good two to three weeks and so it's also been really depressing on that end it's just it has not been fun lately and i don't know i'm struggling to process it and and deal with it it's very overwhelming for me and so i find myself really needing a break and unable to get one so it's just been really tough so I have a cup of coffee and at breakfast today is um, <clears throat> a corn tortilla with a fried egg crispy fried egg sunny side up just a little dollop of sour cream some tomatoes green onions and no a sprig of a sprig a sprinkle of goat cheese and that's pretty much it we only had one egg left so it's a send Hina text her to get some eggs on the way home but this is pretty much breakfast i have a bit of work to do today so i'm going to take this to our dining table and get some work done <music> because it's been a while since i've kind of been in the saddle consistently i've just been building myself up with my 15 minute rides and then i'll move back up to my 20 and 30 minute rides i think my longest ride is was a 45 minute one and it was a really good 45 minute one in order for me to do those long rides it would need to be a really good playlist and I go through these classes with a fine tooth comb to find the ultimate playlist for that would keep me like engaged and motivated because to be quite honest with you working out is not something I like to do it is something that I force myself to do because I know that it's good for me so I've really been trying to kind of show up for myself again I'm gonna book an appointment with my therapist who I haven't seen in two months and just kind of get back to a place where I'm able to show up for myself in a myriad of ways so that I can show up for my family. So I got that after workout glow. I'm glistening, love a good sweat. So I'm gonna go jump in the shower. I am actually really excited to vlog and do videos again and I know you hear that so many times but there seems to be like a click and I'm I'm trying not to overthink it. 
I'm just gonna meet myself where I'm at and you guys have to meet me where I'm at until I get where I need to be so I'm not overthinking the vlogging or the videos anymore I'm just gonna do what I think is fun and what's good for me and what makes me feel happy hi everyone so it is quarter to five and I'm just having a glass of red wine um, it's Wednesday but I had I just had probably one of the most nerve-wracking meetings of my life and I needed a strong drink after that was over. Currently trying to do some planning for a family vacation trip next year. I know it might seem like it's so far away, but I like to plan ahead. Um, I've done both. I've done last minute trips and I've done planned trips and I find that the planned trips are a lot less stressful um, mentally, financially than the unplanned trips. So for example, Paris was a very planned trip, but Bermuda wasn't because we went to Bermuda like maybe a month after we got back from Paris and Bermuda was not planned. It was kind of like, you're going, sure, we'll come too. So planning trips is kind of like what I do and I've basically just kind of been planning out our family vacation for July of next year. I'm not planning the whole thing. I'm essentially just planning the hotel stay and the flights we can do will just kind of like keep an eye on the on the price list and you know buy when it's at its lowest so i've turned on my flight tracking um in google and i'm basically just now trying to reach out to a couple hotels to get a group rate for my family and myself there's going to be maybe around 21 or 22 of us so it's a large number we did consider some options we considered renting a villa um and uh in costa rica but the villas in Costa Rica either don't, they're like that, they don't sleep that many people or they're not all inclusive. So the price that we see, you would have to pay extra on top of that, which is not really fun. It's not really, um, we, we are kind of looking for a more all inclusive experience. And I feel like for a group that size, all inclusive is a better um, option because then they can choose their level of comfort in terms of the rooms that they want and stuff like that. So that's kind of where our head is at in that regard. I basically started the conversation with, hey guys, let's do a family trip. The plan is for July of next year. What are our options? And so I gave them the villa option. Um, I gave them a couple of villa options. We did villas in Costa Rica, Mexico, and Dominican Republic. Um, and because Turks and Caicos, <clears throat> Turks and Caicos was the elevator is not going down. I'll be right back. Let me go make this elevator go down. Okay, where was I? And yeah, so I sent out an email basically just like, hey guys, where are you interested in going? What's your budget? Stuff like that. We were priced out of the Turks and Caicos villas. I feel like the Turks and Caicos is kind of like a goal. <laughs> I feel like life is about our experiences and, and what we can make of them. And so I'm trying to do this for my family. I'm trying to plan a trip for my very large family and it is proving difficult, but I feel like if I'm able to pull this off, it'll be a feat and it will all be worth it. So now I am trying to find two hotels to share with the group and have them choose which one's their favorite. Actually, we're gonna do three hotels at three different price points. I'm not gonna hide the fact and say that I'm biased. There is, There are two of the three hotels that I would like to go to, so obviously I'm gonna put those two options in there. <sighs> so I did all of this research. I reached out to the different places. I reached out to the villas in Costa Rica to find out if, you know, um, that is something that we can make happen. The quotes I was, I was getting are just, ridiculous like one villa that would be all-inclusive in costa rica was gonna cost us fifty nine thousand us dollars where if you convert it to canadian you're looking at close to seventy thousand us dollars which is just that is just and while it's something that we can make happen for a first trip it's not something that we want to do and i feel like we're better off um, like every family has their drama. We don't have really 
bad drama to be honest with you we just kind of tend to bicker um but i feel like for our first vacation being trapped in a house together is probably not the smartest thing to do and so the all-inclusive i think is a better option because everybody gets their own suite and then they can choose to either be a part of the group or not and then there's no hard feelings because everybody will have the freedom to do their own thing so that's kind of where i'm at with that so right now i reached out to one of the hotels to find out a group rate and i'm going to reach out to the other hotel to get a group rate and then i'm going to do some more research on my third option then i'm going to present these options to the group and then we're going to choose which hotel we would like to go to and then i will give them the group well they're going to get the group rate breakdown before that and then we will go from there so that is my thought process so i'm about to go make some calls right now and kind of just pull up some information and then that's pretty much where where i'm at and it's been stressful and i deserve this glass of wine you guys have no idea all right guys so i am <clears throat> all right guys so i'm ending off the vlog in bed it is pretty early as you can see it's still pretty bright outside it is 7 48 but leaf is already down he goes down at around like the 7 7 30 mark and um i'm pretty tired but i'm not gonna go to sleep i'm just probably gonna lay in bed and watch tv and do some more research maybe do a little bit of homework for my interior design um course and yeah that's kind of like where my head is at with regards to the rest of the day i'm just spent my meeting today really really spent me and but like i mentally my nerves are fried and so i'm like just ready to just kind of tuck in for the evening and watch some tv so i'm gonna say good night and i will see you guys in my next vlog um, I hope you all are well, and I will see you soon.